With great power comes great responsibility. To attain self-realization, you must follow your duty. Hello everyone, my name is Augusta Cosa. I am 13 years old and I am in 8th grade. So today we will be analyzing the character Duryodhan from the Mahabharata in Dharmic perspective. The Mahabharata is one of the two greatest Sanskrit epics of India, the other being the Ramayana. The epic Mahabharata focuses on Dharma, the governing law or principle in the universe which leads to the path of enlightenment. It is a law of righteousness, truth, and more importantly, duty. Dharma underlies moral conduct, a true way to serve both others and oneself. Dharma is a principle that all existing beings must accept and respect to sustain harmony and order in the universe. The dharma of fire is to burn. The dharma of water is to get things wet. The dharma of humans is not just to repeat the essentials of life, but is to expand and grow our minds, and more importantly, attain the ultimate self-realization. In Hinduism, there are two aspects of Dharma, Sanatan Dharma and Yuga Dharma. Sanatan Dharma is a set of universal principles that are unchanging. Yuga Dharma is a set of guiding principles that apply to a certain era. But Dharma is also connected with Karma, an energy created by actions, thoughts, words, and deeds. Karma is a residue of action that can increase or decrease the potential of future events being triggered. It is a power that we create inside ourselves for good or bad. As long as Dharma is the guiding principle your karma will generate beneficial consequences. Karma is in our control, it is in our fate. In the epic Mahabharata, there are two groups of cousins, the Pandavas and the Kauravas. Both sides claim to be the rightful heir to the throne of Hastinapur. The eldest of the Pandavas, Yudhishthira, is older than the eldest Kaurava. Duryodhan, making Yudhishthira the heir apparent. The Kauravas send an invitation to the Pandavas for a game of dice. Yudhishthira and his brother show up at the Kauravas palace, and Shakuni, Duryodhan's uncle, plays for the Kauravas. The Kauravas get Yudhishthira drunk and cheat him in the game of dice, making him lose his kingdom, his brothers, and himself, forcing the Pandavas to go to exile for 13 years. While in exile, they survive several attempts on their lives at the hands of the Gauravas. Once they return from exile, the Pandavas demand their throne back, but the Gauravas refuse to cede, sparking the Kurukshetra War. The Kurukshetra War takes place in the modern-day location of the state of Haryana. The war is 18 days exactly. After many losses and setbacks, finally, because of the advice of Krishna, the Pandavas win the war of Kurukshetra and ascend the throne of Hastinapur. Duryodhan is considered the main antagonist in this epic. 
Duryodhan commits many mistakes and is a very confused character. He feels like he's not in control of himself. Duryodhan has a sense of dharma and karma, but at critical moments, he makes the wrong choices. He allows himself to be controlled by greed, ego, and selfishness, which only delivers finite and momentary happiness. According to the principles of Dharma, the path to true happiness is through enlightened thoughts and actions, which lead to self-realization. However, Duryodhan is frantically searching for happiness outside himself. For example, Duryodhan didn't follow Dharma when he allowed himself to be blinded by Shakuni follow his proposal for the game of dice. Thus, in this situation, Duryodhan's actions are not grounded in dharma, hence their adharma, the lack of dharma. Duryodhan made another big mistake. In one scene, after the game of dice, Duryodhan insulted Draupadi and tried to disrobe her. She prayed to Krishna and more and more of her garment kept on appearing. And the reason Duryodhan wanted his revenge was that once he got mocked by Draupadi and her maids while he fell into water while visiting Yudhishthira. It is said that before Duryodhan was about to die, he raised three fingers from his right hand. His men try to understand what he is saying but then Krishna comes up to him and explains. Krishna explains that those are his three biggest regrets of the war. The first is not building a fort around Hastinapur. This shows his overconfidence in his power and his underestimation of the Pandava. His second mistake is not getting Vidur, the Pandavas and the Kauravas uncle to join the war. Vidur is an equal mind to Krishna and a great strategist. Vidur refuses because Duryodhan insults him about his caste. And the third regret is not making Ashwatthama, the son of Drona, commander in chief after the death of his father. After Drona's death, Ashwatthama is furious and wants revenge. It is not until the last day of the war, when Duryodhan is about to die, that he is made commander-in-chief. Duryodhan underestimated the powerful abilities of Ashwatthama. All of his three regrets show that Duryodhan is an arrogant, overconfident, and disrespectful character. Krishna says to him that if he had not committed these three mistakes, the Kauravas would have won the war. Duryodhan has realized the power and wisdom of Krishna at this last moment. It is also believed that while all the other Kauravas go to hell, Duryodhan goes to heaven. While Duryodhan commits many mistakes, as a king he is generous and considerate to his people and his subjects favor him. It is his dharma to fulfill these duties as a king. Duryodhan is a very powerful character, although he uses his power wrongly. No one else wants a war except him. He makes bad moral choices, and his mind is clouded with arrogance and ego. In the end, he realizes his mistakes. But, it's too late. The Mahabharata shows the way humans act and react to challenges thrown in their way. Did they realize their dharma and base their actions on it? Did they not? 
is it easy to follow your time? Actions and habits of mind shape the character, which sow the seeds of their eventual fate.